hey guys welcome back to my channel if you haven't already make sure to subscribe down below and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video of mine so this has been a highly requested video about pricing um it's kind of complicated so that's why it's been taking me a while to upload it um but i have two examples for you i do want to say if you do hear my baby she is right here next to me so if you hear her that's why so i have two examples the first example i'm gonna um talk a little bit about like how you should price each item and then i'll give you a full example of if you were to get an order so here is the first example i will go ahead and post the picture right here so you can screenshot it use it as an example um and just see it as i go um but each you want to keep in mind that each state is different so i am pricing it the way strawberries are here um so in your state they might be a higher price or they might be a lower price so you don't have to do it this way it's just an example to get to get you an idea so let's say that each strawberry costs you four dollars but you want two boxes to get the same size of strawberries so let's say that you are going to buy your strawberries and they cost you four dollars but you are going to get two boxes in order to get the same sizes of strawberries so four dollars times two is going to be eight dollars and that's just for buying the strawberries and you want to calculate your chocolate let's say that cost is like five dollars um hand painting hand painting does take a while so you want to add two dollars to each strawberry letters you can do 25 cents for each letter um or even for the molds let's say like they want sunflowers or they want leaves that's going to be 25 cents extras like sprinkles or any of like glitter a dollar for each strawberry luster dot luster dust a dollar for each strawberry um so that's just beginning to uh, price your items so now let's go ahead and do an example order so let's say that you have a happy birthday order so they want a dozen strawberries they want to add a mold saying let's say that it's for a graduation so you want to they want to put like the caps tassels um they want luster dust on all the strawberries they want a message saying congratulations and you also are going to go include the time you spent on it so for this one we're going to say that you spent two hours so for a dozen strawberries we know that it's 13 dollars you can go ahead and let's say that you were you're going to sell just a plain um dozen strawberries you can go ahead and sell it like that just to get your foot out the door um but in this case it's 13 dollars just for strawberries your mold is 25 cents so they want um like i said tassels the cap um on the strawberries luster dot luster dust they want it on all the strawberries so it's going to be a dollar times 12 so 12 dollars they want the message you are going to charge you can charge five dollars the message and you will charge you can charge ten dollars an hour for your time so that's twenty dollars the total on that order for a dozen strawberries is 53 dollars um that's just one way that you can charge i know that is a lot of money but you also have to keep in mind that it does take a long time to do strawberries i charge my dozen strawberries for 25 dollars because i do have so much competition here where i live that um obviously people are going to go to the ones that's the cheapest but um my strawberries here aren't so expensive my chocolate i buy it in bulk so for me that's good because i'm making profit but this is one way that you can do it um and I'll always calculate your your time you always want to make sure you are putting your time down because it you are um putting so much detail into the strawberries also you want to ask for a deposit always um create different accounts like, like venmo cash app 
Zelle Messenger. If you create a Facebook page so they can send you your deposit through there or tell them bring me the cash. It doesn't matter how much detail they give you until they bring you that deposit. Once that deposit set, they can talk about the strawberries all they want, all the details that they want. Um, I've had in the past that I didn't ask for a deposit. I created the box and they never showed up. They either blocked me or they never texted me back. There was one time a girl who was all like, was going to surprise her mom with some uh, dozen strawberries and it was for her anniversary. And she's all like, she messaged me that day when I had finished the box saying, oh, hey, can I cancel my order? I'm not gonna want it. My mom doesn't want the strawberries no more. And I told her, like, you know what? I'm sorry that she doesn't want them, but they're already finished. I was like, you are going to have to pay me. And she came and picked up the strawberries. But you also have to be strict about it. Um, don't let it slide because that's just money thrown to the trash. But I hope that helped a little bit. And if you ever have any questions, please message me on my Instagram. I'll have it linked down below. I'll always answer you guys. And I've helped out other girls in the past. So please don't hesitate. I hope this video helped and don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. They'll be linked down below.